It looks so sharp. Whoa! It's like I've got an actual circuit board right in front of me. That is amazing. Whoa! I can't even see pixels. There is the Picanio 3, a standalone headset that is very similar to the MetaQuest 2. But its secret weapon, its piece de resistance, is inside this box. Inside here, inside this, is the Pico Neo 3's secret weapon. Because remember, it's not just the Pico Neo 3, it's the Pico Neo 3 link. Because unlike the Quest 2, where you've got to buy a separate link cable, which could cost around 90 pounds, or you buy a cheaper one that could be 20, 30, 40, still cost money, the Pico Neo 3 supply their own. And it's not just any link cable. Because inside this box, is this, a link cable with display port. Now this is a link cable that I've got for my Quest 2. It's all right, uh, it's USB, so this bit fits into the USB connector on the Quest 2, and then that bit fits into the USB on the computer. It works, it's okay. The problem is though, when you just use USB, you introduce two things, a bit of latency, that some people can notice, a lot of people don't notice, and also compression, where the graphics coming from the PC has to be compressed in order to get down this USB cable and into the Quest 2 and into your eyes. So the picture that you're getting isn't quite as good as it could be. Now again, a lot of people probably won't notice and a lot of people won't mind, but some people really care about how good their graphics are in front of their eyes. And if you want the best possible graphics, you don't want a USB connector. You want a proper connector that goes through DisplayPort, just like dedicated PC VR headsets. And the link cable that you get with the Pico Neo 3 Link does exactly that. So, let's connect it up and see how good it is. So you might have noticed that actually you get a little screwdriver that comes with the link cable for the Pico Neo. And that is because, if you look at the top of the Pico Neo 3, you have got a USB-C connector there, but that is only just for charging and things like that. Under here, if we lift that up, is another one, yeah, which is used for their dedicated link cable. So we're gonna slot that in there, like that. So I like that because one problem with the USB on the Quest 2 is that if you trot on the cable, you could obviously yank it out and do a bit of damage. And this is gonna help protect the USB-C port on the Pico Neo. Nice and secure. So here we are down at the other end. So let's get that display port in, put part on the mess. There we go. And USB as well. All done. Now today's the next day, I'm wearing my uh, glasses. I've spent quite a while trying to get some stuff in Steam working with the Quest on Link. I always find with, with the Steam stuff, like Quest, the Quest 2 works really well with the Oculus app and everything works brilliantly. But as soon as I, don't know about other people, as soon as I start trying to use Steam, it always just messes up and, and goes a bit crap, which really annoys me. So uh, I wanted to try the Half-Life 2 mod with the uh, Quest 2, but it was just totally messed up. So now I'm gonna try it with the Pico Neo. And because I am wearing my glasses today, I'll be wearing these, my first uh, add-on accessories for the Pico Neo, which are these lens inserts from VR Rock. And they come with a really nice, uh, well, they come with the standard carrying case that all lens inserts seem to come with. Unlike Quest 2 inserts, which are magnetic, which a decent idea, but they have a tendency to come a bit loose sometimes. These ones for the Pico Neo 3 are not magnetic. They literally just slot over the, the lens. You can see there's an, a little L and a little R, so you know how to put them on. So let's put them on. They slide over really nicely. And they stay put a lot better than the, uh, the ones for the Quest 2 that use magnets. And I think that's down to the way the uh, lenses have been designed. The way the lenses are in the Pico Neo just makes it a lot easier to slot lenses on. You might notice the, the lenses on the Pico Neo are actually covered in like a, a rubber material, whereas the Quest 2, they're totally plastic. So let's get these on then 
Nice. Right, let's get into a game. Wow. So I'm in, just steam home. It looks so clear, so more clear than I've ever seen it. Not that Whoa. I wish to imply you haven't been sleeping Blah. the job. This is clear? The right man in the... This is really clear. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base oh, That's a bit dodgy. I'll go with you. Come on. Oh god. This is cool. Yeah, this this looks if a quest game came out right now, a new one, it looked like this. People would be really happy with it. The interaction's not the best. It's a bit clicky. <laughs> Bing's right there! <laughs> Oi! Whoa! Wow! Get behind there. It looks so sharp. Whoa! It's like I've got an actual circuit board right in front of me. That is amazing. <laughs> that is cool, that is. See, the first time I played this game was on the Rift S, and it looked good, but this is another level. This is so clear. That is a... Whoa. I can't even see pixels. That is stunning. I feel like they are my fingers. Except you don't move when I do that. Okay, I mean, I don't like that when, when it gets too close to me, it starts moving around. Because the tracking's not the best, but... Oh, well, tracking's fine, but not when you get really close. Just like on the Quest 2. That is absolutely stunning. So there we go. If you like uh, playing PC VR, but you also want a standalone headset, the Pico Neo 3 is a very, very good option. Um, it, I didn't realize how much clearer it would be using a display port compared to just USB. I've, in the past, I've used USB and I thought everything oh, felt fine, but it was like getting a new pair of glasses. You, you thought that you could see, and then you put the new pair on and you realize, oh, this is what it's meant to be. Um, it's not perfect. Like, if you wanted like the ultimate just PC VR headset, that's at the moment, apart from getting maybe like uh, a Pimax or something like that, it'd probably be the HP Reverb G2, which has got a better resolution and obviously a, a good connection as well. But it's also got a better field of view. Um, however, it doesn't have any sort of standalone ability and it's about 200, 300 pound more than the Pico Neo 3. So if you want something for just for PC VR, but you wouldn't mind being able to throw in a bag and play a few games when you go out somewhere else, definitely a good option. A few negatives in the past for the Pico Neo 3 for me was that the tracking wasn't as good, but after a few updates, actually, it feels just as good as the Quest 2 now. The field of view is probably about the same as the Quest 2 as well, which isn't the best, but it's okay. And when you start playing it, you kind of forget about it anyway. 
Um, obviously, being a Pico Neo and not being a Meta, you don't get access to all the Oculus games library, which is a shame because there's some really good games involved there, so you don't get to do all that. You don't get to play things like Asgard's Wrath or Lone Echo, but there's a lot of really good games on Steam VR, and obviously most standalone headsets do not have uh, access to all that Oculus Meta stuff anyway. And with regards to those VR Rock lenses, I don't know about anyone who else has tried the Pico Neo 3, but I find you get a lot of lens distortion sometimes, but when I use those lenses, it seems to all go away, because I find it really hard to find the sweet, the sweet spot when you're using the, uh, the Pico Neo 3, but it, I find it a lot easier for some reason with those lenses. Um, I definitely recommend those lenses if you need uh, lens inserts for VR, because it's a lot better than wearing your glasses inside VR, and obviously the lens inserts do protect the lenses themselves as well from scratching and stuff like that, so they're great. So uh, yeah, that's the end of this video, just a really quick one, just to show you uh, how just how good the Pico Neo 3 is for PC VR, compared to the Quest 2, that display port really does make the difference. And it's a difference that I thought I didn't need at all, but now I've been in there and seen how clear it can be, um, I think basically that Pico Neo is gonna be the headset I use when I use PC VR. I used to use a Rift S, which at the time I thought was fine. Then when I got the Quest 2, I thought, wow, this is a lot better resolution, and which is still fine for, for native things. Uh, and then for the PC VR, I'm Pico Neo. What do you think? Do any of you like still play PC VR? Let me know in the comments and what's your favorite games. I'm thinking uh, I want to get back into more PC VR stuff because um, I find with a lot of Quest games, they're a bit kind of more experiency than full games, whereas on the PC, there are more fully fledged games available. So, uh, and that's the kind of stuff I wanted PC VR for, well, VR for anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. If you enjoyed that video or found it useful, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time. Bye.